Hello everyone, welcome back to the Arena Productions. In today's video, we're diving into Fallout Season 1, Episode 2, aptly titled The Target. This episode is packed with action, unexpected alliances, and some deep moral conundrums that propel our main characters into the heart of the Wasteland. So let's go ahead and do this recap. So the episode kicks off with Dr. Sigi uh, Wiltzig, who's been developing a mysterious blue artifact. After injecting himself with it, he escapes an enclave facility alongside his experimental dog, CX-404. As they navigate through perilous terrain, we soon learn that every character has their own burden to carry. Meanwhile, Lucy, one of our protagonists, encounters Dr. Wildzik unexpectedly. He advises her to return to her vault for safety hinting at dangers only he is aware of. Their meeting is cut short when bounty hunters interrupt, revealing the value placed on Wiltzik's head. Elsewhere, the Brotherhood of Steel's dynamics are showcased through Maximus and Knight Titus. After a confrontation with a mutant bear leaves Titus wounded, Maximus makes a chilling choice to leave him behind and take his power armor, highlighting the survival of the fittest theme that runs deep in the wasteland. So back with Lucy and Wildzik, their, their quest to reach Moldiver is fraught with peril. They barely escape from an encounter with a bounty hunter named Howard, thanks to Maximus's timely intervention. However, the victory is bittersweet as CX-404 is left wounded and Howard, seeing his opportunity, uh, takes the dog to track down Wildzik. So the climax of the episode is both tragic and dramatic. As Wiltzig and Lucy are close to, uh, to reaching their destination, Wiltzig consumes cyanide, believing his slowed pace hampers their progress. His last request to Lucy is grim yet practical. He asks her to deliver his head to their final destination, Moldover. So this, this episode does a fantastic job of developing its characters, particularly Lucy. From a sheltered vault dweller to a determined survivor, her evolution is compelling. Her interactions with Wiltzig challenge her preconceptions about the world above ground. Maximus, on the other hand, represents the inner turmoil within the Brotherhood of Steel. His decision to abandon Titus and claim the armor illustrates a significant shift in his character, from obedient squire to a warrior making hard decisions for survival. So the target explores themes of survival, betrayal, and the cost of safety in a post-apocalyptic world. Each character's decision reflects a broader commentary on human nature and uh, when pushed to its limits. And uh, as we wrap up uh, this episode recap, the blending of harsh survival tactics with poignant human moments sets Fallout apart as a series, the series that's not just about post-apocalyptic adventures, but also about the human condition. What will happen next? So. Keep tuning in to find out, and don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell for when we drop another recap of the Fallout series here on the Arena Productions. And I'm going to be trying to uh, post uh, a recap episode each week uh, until we finish uh, the, the season. So anyway, uh, and one last thing, boy, that the, the fight between the ghoul and, uh, and Maximus in the armor, that was really cool. Uh, at, towards the end of the episode. So anyway, take care, everyone. We'll see you in the next video. And remember, in the wasteland, it's adapt or die. Peace.